Never been so happy to see some clouds and some rain. Rain cooled air as well. 71 degrees uh, outside in Helena. Great Falls, of course, the State Fair going on this entire week and dark clouds to the east of town, dark clouds to the west, to the south of town. Not so much, if any, rain in Great Falls just yet, though. 81 degrees, but to look at that wind gusting to almost 40 miles per hour. Some outflow from uh, some area, th area thunderstorms producing some of that wind. It's pretty clear to see where we did not have rain and the temperatures are much hotter. Where we did have rain, 60s and 70s here in the western part of the state. Air quality, boy, it's nice to have a couple of green dots here on the map, including in Helena and Great Falls. But again, the air quality likely will go down, deteriorate over the next few days. As this is just a little break. Flash flood warning again continues uh, for parts, central parts of uh, Lewis and Clark County because of some very heavy thunderstorm activity that pushed through. I plotted uh, some of the fires here on the map and uh, fires getting some good rain, but that was an impressive thunderstorm that again worked right over Marysville and Canyon Creek. How about south of Helena, uh, east of Helena, southeast of Helena? Of course, the Woods Creek fire. This one made a run down the west side of the mountain towards uh, Canyon Ferry Lake and Nice rain over that fire with another round of rain heading in that direction right now. Got some reports out of White Sulphur Springs of some heavy rain there. Also, uh, right northwest of Showdown, southwest of Nyharts, of course, the Balsinger Fire, the Harris Mountain Fire. Maybe not so much uh, rain on the Harris Mountain Fire, but the Balsinger Fire saw some good rain. Around Gray Falls, again, it's northwest of town, it's east of town, it's south of town, not so much right in the downtown area. Some storms coming off of the Rocky Mountain front around Dutton and Brady, seeing some good rain and look at all of this. Again, beautiful, beautiful moisture here in the southwestern part of the state. Uh, that Trail Creek fire, 35, 40,000 acres, saw significant rain over the last few days. So did a lot of the fires in Idaho, even Washington and Oregon saw some good rain here on fires. So the, hopefully this rain kind of just hits pause on the fire season, allows some firefighters to maybe get a, a better advantage on some of these fires. But for the rest of this evening, rain will work its way through central Montana. So more opportunities for drops falling on areas uh, that have seen wildfires. Tomorrow, look at that back edge of the clouds. So we'll likely heat up pretty quickly around Helena, Great Falls, Cup Bank, Missoula, Butte America as well with rain in eastern and uh, central Montana for uh, Tuesday. Wednesday, right back into summer here. A few isolated thunderstorms with highs back up into the 90s here for most of the state. But additional rain at least tonight into tomorrow. You can see that uh, there briefly into the central part of the state. Some areas could see another maybe inch of rain. Isolated storms Thursday, Friday, a good chance for thunderstorms. And this weekend will be cooler but it will be very windy across most of the state, so that fire danger will be very high Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully we get another round of rain coming in on Monday. Here's the forecast for tonight. Showers and thunderstorms working into central Montana, eastern Montana. You have to wait until tomorrow, but some rain hopefully over the little belts and over the big belts. We still have uh, some rain in the Helena area for another couple, three hours. For tomorrow, the rain shifts into central and eastern areas. Temperatures will cool down there, but look at the heat returning very, very quickly. We're up into the 90s in the western part of the state. 90s for everybody on Wednesday with an isolated storm. Thursday, some isolated storms in the western part of the state, mainly in the 90s, and for Friday, here comes the cold front that will cool us down. Look at the highs in the 70s and 80s again in the western part of the state. However, that front will make for very windy conditions this weekend. I mean, west 15, 30 miles per hour on Saturday, Sunday up to 20 miles per hour. Highs will be cooler in the 80s with lows in the 40s and 50s and four great falls. Hope you get some rain tonight because it's isolated for the rest of the week.